and social districts are popping up all over the state. The city of Raleigh kicking off their own earlier this week, allowing for people to carry alcoholic drinks around and into other businesses in certain areas of downtown, specifically along Fayetteville Street and Moore Square area. And these districts are also being thrown around as ideas here in the east. A few months ago, New Bern city officials introduced their own plans for a social district in the downtown area. They're doing research now to see if it will work before presenting it to the Board of Aldermen. And the latest city here in the east to entertain this idea is the city of Greenville. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken Watlington. And I'm Angie Casada. Thank you so much for joining us. City Council will be taking a vote on the proposed districts later on tonight. But first, Night on Your Side's Aaron Jenkins is live now in Uptown Greenville. Aaron, you spoke with local businesses today. How do they feel about this? Well, Ken Angie, the businesses I talked to say they're all for bringing social districts to the area. While they do say there could be some tweaks to the current plans, they're excited for the extra life it could bring to Uptown Greenville. People walking down the streets of Greenville could soon be carrying an alcoholic beverage in hand. Being able to walk in and get an adult beverage and, and walk the streets and, and shop, I think you see that in a lot of other places around the state. And, uh, it promotes a lot of community. The city has a proposed plan for two social districts, the Uptown District and Dickinson Avenue District. I think people could explore Dickinson a little bit more if there was a social district over here. As their proposal reads now, people could carry designated cups into participating businesses Thursday through Saturday from 5 to 10 in the evening, but some people say those hours aren't ideal. I wish it was 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Friday. Social districts were put in place not just to help restaurants, but to help retail. And retail's mainly closed after 5, so why aren't we allowing retail to see some of the profits? I think it'd be beneficial to have um, during the day on Saturdays where people would be able to explore the places that we have to shop. Brooke Letchworth is the city's public information officer. He says the council will look at the proposal Thursday night and could make adjustments, but say they'll be keeping safety in the city a priority. We'll be monitoring everything from the responsibility of the person with the alcohol beverage uh, when it comes to drinking responsibly and also things like litter. Several businesses hope their proposal passes to bring a little extra vibrancy to the area. It's going to be for the young professional, for the family who wants to grab lunch, grab a drink, and take a walk to Dickinson Avenue. So I'm excited. Now, these social districts aren't in place just yet. City Council will still have to discuss and take a vote later this evening. If they do happen to vote yes, we could see this go into effect as early as this October. Coming up on your news at 10 and 11 tonight, our Caitlin Richards will have more from the decision at that meeting. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. All right, Aaron, thank you.